Welcome to Core Mechanics, where I explain the core mechanic of tabletop role-playing games. For this, our first episode, I thought I'd look at the big cheese, the number one RPG, Dungeons & Dragons. Specifically, D&D 5th Edition, the most recent version of the game from Wizards of the Coast. D&D 5th Edition has a very simple core mechanic, a linear, d20-based rollover mechanic with softly bounded modifiers. I know, it's a lot of jargon, bear with me here, I'll break it down for you. D20 is just gamer slang for a 20-sided die, something that's been around at least since the Romans, but you probably haven't seen one unless you play games like this already. D&D is linear because it uses just one of these d20s at a time, for the most part. I'll get to the exceptions in a little bit. But because you just roll one die, the odds of any particular number coming up is the same as any other number. Because there are 20 faces on a d20, each face has a probability of 1 over 20, or 5%. If you graph the probability of each result, it's a straight line. Hence, linear. After you roll your dice, you're looking to meet or exceed a target number called a difficulty class. Higher results are always better, hence, roll over. You're not just taking the value of the die you roll, though. Your total result also includes bonuses and penalties, mostly from things on your character sheet like your ability scores and proficiency modifier. The system tries very hard to keep these numbers to a minimum, but there is no hard and fast limit. Whenever you need to roll to see if you succeed at something in D&D, you'll pick up your d20 and roll it. Then you add the number you rolled to your appropriate modifiers and compare the total to the difficulty class set by the DM or the rules. If you meet or beat that number, you succeed. 5th edition D&D added an interesting twist to this core mechanic that had basically been in place for 15 years. To curb runaway modifiers found in those previous editions, the designers of 5th edition added the mechanics of advantage and disadvantage. Advantage just means roll two d20s and use the higher one for your result. Disadvantage means the opposite, roll two d20s and use the lower one for your result. Pretty simple, right? Even simpler to remember is that you can't stack advantage, and advantage and disadvantage cancel each other out no matter how many sources are giving you one or the other. If you have anything giving you advantage and anything else giving you disadvantage, just make a normal roll using one d20. And that's it! The Core Mechanic of Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. If you liked this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, click the subscribe button. And hey, you can even support me at Patreon. The link is available right here and in the description. Until next time, keep on rolling.